Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat 11 Pro, you can create and save your own custom actions to automate routine or time-consuming tasks. To create an action, choose the Create New Action button in the Action Wizard panel in the Tools pane of the Task pane to open the Create New Action dialog box. The tools you can add to your custom action are listed and displayed by category in the Choose Tools to Add pane at the left side of the dialog box. When you click a category, the available tools that can be added are shown. Select a tool to add and then click the Add to Right Hand pane button between the two panes to add the selected action to the Action Steps to Show pane at the right side of the dialog box. Note that you can click the Specify Settings button for many tools you add to open a dialog box where you can specify the settings to use within the action. Also, if you would prefer to allow users to specify the settings when running the action instead, check the Prompt User checkbox for the selected tool. You can use the tools that appear at the far right side of the Create New Action dialog box to add panels, instructions, and dividers to the action. The process for doing this is almost exactly the same as when adding these elements to a new tool set as shown in the lesson titled Creating and Selecting Tool Sets in the Introductory Acrobat 11 Manual earlier in this course. You can review that lesson if needed. Now, one difference is that after adding instructions to the action steps to show panel, you can check the pause checkbox that appears to add a click to proceed button that the user must click to continue that action when the action is run in the future. Now, just as when creating tool sets, you can also reorder and delete items within the action steps to show pane by using the triangular move up and move down buttons, as well as the remove button. When finished, just click the save button to open the save action dialog box. Enter a name and a description for the action into the fields shown and then click the save button. Notice that the newly created action is now listed in the Action Wizard panel along with the other available preset actions. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.